What's up dudes and dudes of the year and my name's Seth and if you didn't already know I have a discord and this is going to kind of be a relaunch video because now I actually have a lot more of an understanding of how the program actually ends up working uh, not to mention there has been some big significant changes since the last video that I had that was actually instructing you how you actually end up joining the discord so there's gonna be a link in the description uh, that is going to go to the uh, discord invitation link I guess I would say right uh, you're going to have to actually have an account uh, like an email set up with your discord account so that it's kind of like a official that's pretty much the only parameters that you actually have to have we could end up setting the restriction to being a lot higher but of course we do not uh, i don't know whether or not you can actually use the discord channel in your browser i think you actually have to download the desktop app uh, or you can end up using it through your phone as well i know that that works so let me just give you a brief heads up as to how this is all going to end up working the general chat is where you're going to be thrown into this is where everybody is going to be talking all at once right now i'm actually recording this in the middle of the night as you can can see at 3:23 a.m. my time which is usually dead hours we only have uh 295 people online right now and then uh on the right side you're also going to see trove xbox one officers and then you whether they're actually online or not uh the pc officers killer prop it's actually playing trove right now but you can see with the little indicator that she's actually kind of uh away from discord anyways and then we've got our admins right here which is going to be myself and well i guess i'm up here in the owners but there's going to be like all the other administrators and stuff like that the kind of uh, these are the people that are going to have blue names i kind of have it all color coded so you can kind of watch out for them uh the trove pc officers you can see is also blue but it's kind of a different tint so i don't know just kind of keep that in mind it's gonna always show them on the right side though and then the bots now these are where things get a little bit interesting because i didn't really know that much about discord the first times that i ended up launching it and we ended up having a whole bunch of people just explode in with all sorts of trolling and stuff like that. Now, that's what these bots take care of. If you are, uh, you know, a parent or if you're a younger audience member and you're wondering, you know, how is this going to end up being a uh, family friendly discord? Well, we do our best. That's what I'm going to say right here. Sometimes, you know, there will be some people swearing in the mic chat or something like that. Of course, we end up giving them warnings appropriately. And if you catch them doing some naughty business, just let an admin or myself know and we'll take care of it just so. But uh, we actually have a ranking system set up. So if you actually click on rules right here, uh, this is going to kind of be where everything is going to end up being explained. So being respectful to other members, uh, please keep your personal disputes elsewhere. Swearing is strictly prohibited. Uh, however, once or twice is OK if you don't really know the rules. But if you start trying to sneak around it, well, you're just going to end up getting kicked. Uh, spam, of course, is not going to be uh, accepted. However, you can see everyone kind of just does OK okay, no, you die. And, uh, you know, all the typical inside jokes of the channel are usually the ones that are spammed out over the course of the middle of the night. Uh, but you know, these are kind of off and on. It's not really spam so long as there's not like a whole bunch of people trying to all talk at once and then it's constantly spammed out. Uh, so we also have a not safe for work content is not allowed. That also kind of keeps it uh, family friendly as well. But it doesn't really matter that much anyways, because for the most part, you're not going to be able to post any pictures or links for a very, very long time. I'll talk about this in a minute. And personally, impersonation of other members uh, and admins is not allowed. Of course, uh, sometimes we have people come in here that actually have like Scythe plays as their username or take my icon and stuff. And you you know, you can usually tell, like we, we tell right away that it's like, oh, what's this guy doing? But uh, for most actual members, you might not actually be able to tell. So uh, a good way that you can actually tell if it's me is it's going to have a proper green name, right? Uh, so then there's also going to be Discord invite links for other Discord servers are prohibited. So sometimes people might end up coming in here and uh, trying to, you know post their own discord channel and advertise themselves and stuff like that of course you know sorry to say that's not gonna happen now if you're talking about your youtube channel or your twitch and stuff like that that's perfectly fine but you know be respectful we don't want people to just come in here just to advertise that hang out with people talk be a part of the community and also do youtube and twitch and stuff like that on the side you can also let people know if you're streaming and stuff obviously that's that's perfectly fine uh, and then of course if there's a problem you can contact an admin as soon as possible I, I know i kind of skipped over that ranks are used to prevent new members from joining and trolling you'll earn xp for sending messages in the text chat every minute so spamming is not going to end up helping you out because your xp is going to end up being given once per minute so if you say hello 
then you're going to get experience for that. It's going to be a random number of, I think, like 0 to 20 or 1 to 25 or something something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, and then after that minute has passed, then if you send another message. Now, we don't really like people spamming the chat in order to actually like rank themselves up specifically for the privileges. Uh, the privileges are going to be... Uh, you know, at the first rank is going to be kind of grayed out and you're going to end up getting access to the mic chat. Uh, you'll be able to listen in on people, but you won't be able to talk. You kind of got to earn that a little bit further along the line and then eventually you are going to be able to talk. And then the rank after that is going to be much, much higher, which is going to be the epic rank, which is going to end up giving you access to actually posting links. Obviously, this rank has to be very, very difficult to attain because of the fact that posting links can potentially be very toxic and it's something that we... Uh, uh, you know, kind of don't really have like it, it would just be a whole mess of things for us to manage on top of trying to keep the chat as friendly, fr family friendly as possible. Right. Uh, and then finally, Jub Jub rank, which is the highest rank that we have that one. You're going to be able to embed links. So you're going to be able to post a link. And if it's like an image or a video or something, it's going to just show it right there. And people are going to be able to see uh, the video in the Discord app rather than having to click a link that's going to end up opening it in their browser. Right. But anyways, back to my point that I was saying before where we don't want people necessarily spamming for rank, but we do know that people want to do it. So that's what the rank chat is here for. This is where you can end up uh, typing explanation mark rank, explanation mark levels. Those are going to be the commands to actually see how much experience you have, uh, you know, what your actual level is and stuff like that. So uh, generally, each of the Discord channels, like the text chats, uh, end up explaining things at the top. So keep an eye on that. Uh, so here's just a quick summary of all the channels right here you know obviously trove is just related to trove chat twitter is going to be uh what one of the bots is supposed to be doing but it seems like it's offline right now but this is just kind of sharing all of my twitter feed that's pretty much exactly what it is however you can see right here this was just job simulator is back vr that's you know that's a little while ago already so that's why i call it a useless robot because it's one of the bots that i use it's the only bot that can actually share a twitter feed at least as far as mine knowledge and unfortunately the bots kind of go off and online an awful lot i don't know why i think it's for the same reason that discord constantly is updating itself for no reason whatsoever when it already works and just the same the bots have to kind of accommodate for that however during the patch time the bots will usually end up coming offline. So sometimes uh, we'll actually have our swear bot offline and oh man, that's that's when we kind of put things on lockdown quite a bit because suddenly people are getting through the swear filter and stuff like that, right? So that's kind of the thing too, I guess I should mention is that if you do end up in posting anything that's naughty, uh, it's either going to end up ge getting deleted by an admin because it's not in the filter or if it is filtered, it's going to be deleted immediately. Uh, the bot chat, you're not gonna have to worry about. This is admin only it's so that we can keep track and see what the bot message actually ended up deleting so we can tell whether or not it's somebody that actually needs to be banned admin of course it's admin only uh the warframe bot now this chat is actually specific for the genesis bot and what this guy does is he's got all sorts of different commands and stuff like that that you can use uh to kind of see like in-game items price changes sorties and stuff like that because uh, for the most part you know the big popular games that we actually have users playing uh that are also in in our discord is warframe which of course i had on the channel a while back and i'm going to end up going back to eventually uh this is just the warframe chat in general and then overwatch because who doesn't like that everybody always plays overwatch we've got an overwatch bot in here which i'm noticing i don't have most of the commands set up uh but you can always type the uh down downline slash or whatever uh ow help and that'll kind of show you all the commands so that's why i don't really have it up at the top but i might end up changing that Trove Xbox officers is just for myself and the other Xbox officers, so we have a way of communicating with one another. Uh, because for the most part, I don't really need one for the PC officers because we all communicate anyways. Uh, you know, with like admin chat or just in the Jub Jub lobby and stuff, because I kind of bump, I have the option to bump people up uh, to their whatever rank I want. So I kind of have given a lot of privilege to some people that ended up sticking around with us since the Razorcom days. Now, if you don't know what that is, that was. Way 
way, way back in the day, we used a program called Razorcoms, and that was our exclusive microphone channel. That's kind of where, uh, you know, Merck, Joe, and a, a, a lot of others ended up kind of coming around, and we all started talking together and just kind of hanging out. And now they have stuck around for such a long time that most of them have actually become administrators in my Discord. Now, Discord was advertised to us an awful lot, just a funny story here in closing, um, but for the life of me, Discord actually used to be a very, very con complicated and very uh, unuser friendly app. Like it was, it was bad, dude. It was, it was almost as bad as Teamspeak, where you have to set everything up manually, and it's just, it used to be gross. Now it's actually a lot more user friendly, and it's a lot better. Now, uh, one last thing I do want to mention is that. Uh, as far as Discord commands and stuff like that is concerned, uh, you can look all of that up online. You know, I'm not going to go through the entire process of it all, but you can always like this right here, at admin. That's going to tag everybody that's an admin uh, so that they can all see your message, or you can tag specific users in general. Uh, putting hashtag and then one of these chats is going to end up uh, making it so that people can end up clicking on it to actually go to it. Uh, and then we've actually got a whole bunch of custom emotions and stuff like that that you can end up messing with, or emoticons I guess I should say, right? Uh, and last but not least, I do want to mention that if you end up right-clicking any of the users at one point, uh, you can always message. A lot of the a lot of the admins actually have uh, the ability where you can actually message them. Uh, unfortunately, I have to actually have that closed as well as friend invites. So I might friend some specific people, but most of all, that's because otherwise I would just be absolutely spammed and it would be something completely unmanageable. Uh, it's nothing personal towards the fans. You know, I love you guys and guys and thank you so much for watching uh, very much appreciate it so so very much uh, links will be in the description for everything about this so you can always check it out join in have some fun for the most part I'm not like I I'm around I'm always watching the chat but I am usually busy like either editing videos or just doing other stuff like doing what a scythe do and often even as far as the mic chat is concerned I'll be able to join the general chat sometimes but only when I ever end up having free time uh, otherwise I'll be in the admin chat kind of just hanging out with the other admins and keeping things a little bit more low key rather than uh, joining the general but that said you know I join when I can uh, you know again I'm trying to manage like so many different things right it's it's a little bit overwhelming honestly speaking that's why we've got all these limitations in play now if you don't like any of these limitations you can always just not join you know stick to the comment section and stuff like that but hey if you want to actually join a pretty cool crew you can join up here and you know all, most of these people are very very friendly people and want to actually play games with all of you and stuff like that uh however i do want to give a heads up that there is kind of an ongoing sarcasm uh to the whole group that kind of uh, can can be a little bit off-putting at first if you just join and somebody says die it's because they're joking and saying it kind of sarcastically like I do in the videos to other uh, player characters or enemies and stuff like that they don't mean literally like they're not trying to be a jerk is all I'm saying okay and uh, again you know if you're overly sensitive, you probably aren't going to necessarily like our Discord. Uh, it's not that we like swear at each other or anything like that, but for the most part, uh, you know, everybody's really close and we've all been around for a very long time that we're kind of very open with teasing each other. So just a heads up with that. Thanks so much for watching though, everybody. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Sign on, stay epic.